want to grow a zucchini all season. But before long, we find our summer squash, our zucchini, start sprawling out and taking over the whole garden bed. So today, let's talk about growing summer squash and zucchini vertically. Hi everyone, my name is Riley and we're in my garden today. A little bit of background on zucchini and all summer squash. These plants do not have tendrils that help it climb up a vertical structure like cucumbers or, or winter squash do. Instead, we have to provide a vertical structure and then we have to provide support and train that plant up that vertical structure. The most popular method is to use a six foot stake, drive that six foot stake a foot to a foot and a half into your garden bed. And then as your zucchini or summer squash plant grows, tying the stem of that plant to that stake and training it to grow vertically up that stake. There's a few limitations to that method, and it's not the one that I'm going to propose today. The, the stake method is going to limit the amount of height that you can grow that plant. Uh, if you start with a six foot stake, you're going to have to drive it a foot to a foot and a half into the ground. That's going to leave you with about four and a half to five feet of vertical growing height that you can grow it. The other limitation that I have found is that if you decide later after you've planted the squash that you want to grow it vertically, it's dangerous to drive that stake into the ground near your squash plant. You could damage the roots. That could cause a nutrient delivery issue and in turn cause uh, blossom end rot in your fruit. Side note here, you may be thinking, well, why not just use a trellis and just train the squash or zucchini plant up the trellis like we do with our tomato plants. Squash and zucchini leaves are very large. The stems of those leaves are large and hollow and they're fragile. If you bend them, they will snap or split. And what I have found when you try to train a zucchini plant up a trellis is those leaves and stems become compressed against that trellis. And as you're trying to maneuver that plant every week to retie it and retrain it to grow vertically, it's very susceptible to damaging and cracking that stem. And then we're inviting insects in and we're inviting disease into our plants. So if you have a zucchini plant or any summer squash plant and that plant has already started to take over a garden bed, you want to get that plant vertical without disturbing the roots of the soil. I've got one right here. Let me show you how we can get this plant growing vertically without having to disturb roots in the soil and potentially invite in blossom end rot. What we're going to do is build a trellis frame and I'll put a link up right here or down in the comments of the instructions on how to build this, this trellis. We're going to build it without the trellis netting. And the beauty of this is this will straddle our raised bed. We can attach it from the outside of the raised bed. We won't disturb any of the roots of the plants growing in the raised bed. And then we can train that zucchini or summer squash plant to grow vertically up this frame. In the video for how to build the trellis, there are instructions on how to build that for up to a four foot garden bed. And if you're going to have a four foot garden bed and you need some more supports, say you're growing, going to grow four zucchini plants in that four foot garden bed, all you need to do when you're building the frame at every location where you want your zucchini plant, just put in another vertical cross member into that frame, just like this. Screw it from the top and the bottom, good to go. Mounting this frame to your raised bed is super simple. You just straddle the raised bed, put two two and a half inch screws into either side, into the outside of your raised bed, and it's good to go, very sturdy. All I'm going to do to begin with is just lift up my squash plant, lay it up against my frame, see about where I want to attach it to the frame, and then I'll make a mark on the back for me to screw in an anchor screw to. Now what we're going to use today to attach our zucchini summer squash plant to our frame is some electrical wire with plastic sheathing on the outside. 
I'm using this because I have it. I did some rewiring on the house when I first bought this about four and a half, five years ago. Um, and so I had some left over. It works great because it's stiff and it's easy to work one handed with while you're trying to loop it around your plant. The downside is it's very expensive. It's around $50 for a hundred feet of this. I did do some research though, and I found some Vigoro training wire that you can pick up at Home Depot. And I'll put up a picture either right here or right here, and I'll leave a link in my blog for that. Uh, that is only $5 per 50 feet. So if anybody out there gives that a try or has tried that in the past, please let us know in the comments how that's worked. All I do is I cut off a section of the wire that's about eight to 10 inches. I'll bring you in close so that you can see this in a side view what I'm doing, but I'm just wrapping one, maybe one and a half inches around the anchor screw so that I can leave it in place while I lift the plant up with one hand. Then I have one hand free to loop this over back around the plant and then wrap it around the wire again. We're back at my zucchini plants growing vertically. There's some maintenance we have to do every, <clears throat> every week to 10 days. As that plant grows, it's going to start to lean over towards the ground. And all we have to do then every week to 10 days is come in and gently lift it back up against our frame, put in an anchor screw, wrap some wire around that anchor screw, come around the stem of the plant, wrap it around the anchor screw again, and it will stay vertical and continue to grow vertically up your frame. The benefits of growing the zucchini vertically, just wow, there's a lot. Um, number one, disease control. Having the plant vertical and not having the leaves and the stem down in contact with your soil, there's less chance of transmitting a soil-borne bacteria or disease into the plant and losing your plant early. Having that plant up off the ground also increases the airflow and that will decrease the chance of powdery mildew and again decrease the chance that you're going to lose your plant early to powdery mildew. In addition to that, having it up off the ground makes it really simple to go in and apply organic preventative controls for pests like the vine borer. And if we can prevent the vine borer from taking our squash, summer squash, or zucchini early, we can harvest fruit for weeks and weeks and weeks. Having these plants up off the ground also makes pruning simple. Um, I'll put up a link for a video for how to prune zucchini and four other tips for growing great zucchini all summer. But with the plants up off the ground, Pruning is simple. All we have to do is after we harvest fruit, we're going to go in, we're going to clip these leaves off right where their stems meet the main growing stem of the plant. With it being up off the ground, we can get in there really easy and clip it off real close to that main growing stem. And we just take off all those leaves all the way up to the next set of fruit. The last benefit that I'm thinking of, I don't have any scientific evidence for, and if anybody does, please leave a comment down below, but having these fruit up off the ground, it also puts the flowers up off the ground and in the air. And that would tell me that they're going to be more visible to pollinators, a better chance our fruit's going to be pollinated, and that means more fruit for us all summer long. My name is Riley and this is my garden. If you enjoyed the video today, please click that like button and please share it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you on the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell when you subscribe so you'll be notified next week when we put out another video. Thanks for watching.